Hi everyone, it's me Maddie and welcome back to another video on my channel that doesn't really have a scheme or a theme. I wish we had a scheme or a theme, I don't really care, but we go all over the place. We go with my moods and I have been playing this family for uh, two months now. I think I started early May. I really don't remember but I started this family and I have been playing them for a lot of sim hours and I'm really enjoying them and I hope by making this current household I don't diminish my enjoyment for them because that seems to be the theme but like I didn't really enjoy playing with them and I took like a couple weeks off of playing and now I'm playing them again and I'm so excited to start the second generation so uh I hope you guys are just as excited for me. But this is the Anderson family, hopefully the Anderson legacy. I would really love to just play this family and expand it so much because that's what The Sims is about. I would just really, really love to do that. So this is our house and I don't know if you guys can see, this lighting mod is beautiful. It's burnt pancakes or burnt waffles. It's burnt a uh, breakfast food. I think it's his lighting mod. And it's the Aurora Skies and Isla Paradiso Water. I believe that's what the lighting mod is called. That's the one I have in the game. I'm not quite sure which one it is. All I know is that it's beautiful and I adore it. Even though it doesn't work all the time, when it does work, it makes it worth it. But yeah, this is my house. I have six Sims three large dogs and a bird named Leoli. So hop in, we got a little bit to do. But the first thing I'm gonna talk about is how I got this gnome to stay here and not move. So this gnome has the dog sign, that has a sign that has a heart around a face of a dog. He's actually on an OSMP shelf, which makes it to where you can like move decorative items to specific like lengths and like or to, specific, to specific heights and I put them on there because I wanted them to have a gnome I thought it was really cute and homey and it would fit for like the backstory of this generation but I didn't want it to go all over the place because that drives me up the wall and <clears throat> voila it's it's on a piece of custom content oh our flamingo is down wow but yeah, he's on a piece of custom content, and I definitely recommend it. That's how you get these gnomes to stay, and I will forever be using that in my game. So, this is our house. If you don't know what Wallapa Valley is, that's the world we're playing in. It's this humongous world. It is so beautiful. I love this world. I've never played in it until I played in this family because of its size. I knew... That it was going to just take a lot but on Ela, which if you don't know that's my pc i got for my birthday last year it runs pretty smoothly knock on wood so yeah this is wallapa valley we live over here in this cute little residential neighborhood practically everybody in this save has the same exact last name because i don't have many saved families or many created families in my bin so a lot of people have the same last name but uh, these don't because I made these sims and then I changed the last name in game because I was like, why do we have 20 Pollocks in this world? We shouldn't and we're not related to them. So we've changed. We've evolved. But let me show you guys the family's house and stuff like that. So when you walk into the house, you are instantly met with a mess this house is so chaotic i mean like you can't this isn't a household that you can like put on and then like go to the bathroom while it plays or get something to eat no this household is chaos 24 7 and that's mainly contributed to the fact of our three large dogs in this small space and by small space i mean the it's just really enclosed it's not really all that open it's it's annoying it really is. So yeah, this is kind of the entranceway and then through this door is the bathroom and laundry and our hubby, yes, who has a beautiful hair on, but that doesn't actually work in game. I don't know how to fix my hairs like that, but I've gotten used to it. It does not bother me. 
there's our three dog bowls there's one of our dogs um and this is like a sunroom area but i made it the dog room because we really it doesn't fit much you know so it has a couch in here because i just like to shove one of my dogs in here to go to bed i'm like just get get out of the way get out of the way you take up the whole space and then everybody has to go outside through the front door and then go all the way around up the back porch through the back door to get to their kitchen to eat breakfast and then they gotta do it all again to go up to school and it's just like oh my god move so that's what this is here for um through here is our <clears throat> excuse me our living room we don't ever use the fireplace because i used it once and um our entire living room caught fire so that was not a fun experience especially with the dogs in the way then this is the kitchen and living room if you play wallapa valley this is the exact way it's set up though they might have a newer stove I don't really know, but yeah, this is the exact way that the kitchen and dining room is set up, so it's nothing's changed. And then through here is the back porch, which I hate snow, but I think I would do it if I had a house with this type of view. It's just beautiful. It is stunning. Um, and then, yeah, so this is kind of our porch, a potty, because it don't fit nowhere else. And then these stairs lead down to the backyard, which is, uh, it's a horrible backyard. I can't put a single thing out here because it's curved from the front of the lot to the back. The house sits on a curve and you can't, there's no space. They can't play fetch. They can't go, um, play catch. They can't do kiki bag. They can't play soccer. They can't put a slide down. You can't have a swing. You can't, <laughs> there's very little space so there we go with that so that's the downstairs and we'll zoom around here to the stairs Plop. and go on up so upstairs is um the nursery or a hallway <laughs> depending on where you live um it could be either so yeah this is our youngest room he just lives in the hallway we don't have a lot of space he is the youngest child by a milestone so that's where he sleeps through here is a bathroom and then over here is my boys' room i completely missed the girls room i apologize we'll go back down there but this is the male's room it's not very big and when our youngest ages up we're gonna have to try and put bunk beds in this room because like no space not a single one um and then through here is the master. I really like the room. It's just so cozy and I really like it. And then the master bathroom. So there we go. Uh, our, our girl's room is right down here. And uh, she has the room on the bottom floor just because she's our only girl. So uh, this is her room. She has a pet bird. This is Leoli. Um, and then this is Leoli's feathers. And uh, yeah, this is her room. So, yep, that's that. So, thank you for coming to my house tour. And now let me show you guys the fam. Boom. This house is <laughs> so chaotic. Ah! Let me show you guys our founder. So, the original, this originally was going to be a whimsy, no wait. I tried a whimsy story. I gave up a generation too. This was originally going to be a family dynamics challenge. So my founder, Justine Anderson, this is her. She is kind of inspired off of those like boundaries. She's a cook. She's really family oriented. We don't have a garden. We don't have the space and I can't handle the garden. Just don't like it. But yeah, this is Justine Anderson. She is very pretty. And she's actually just a slightly edited version of Dottie Dean, who was a sim in one of my older current households. I never posted it, but I played with three generations with that family. And um, yeah, so that's who she, she was originally based off. And Dottie Dean is the grandchild of Jeffrey Dean from university. Um, so yeah, this is her. Do these sims dress based on weather no 
No, they do not. So this is her summer spring outfit and now it's snowing in winter, but she wears the exact same thing and it's cool. We all love her. I love her. I'm just also glad that this hair works because it's an Ifka hair and I love Ifka. Wait, why aren't we? Hello? Hello? And I love Ifka hairs, but I don't know how in the world why some Ifka hairs look good in game and then the other ones don't. But she's got an Ifka hair on and I love Ifka hairs, by the way. Okay, this is Justine. She ages into an elder in 21 days, so she's pretty young. She has completed her culinary, her lifetime wish, which was to be a culinary librarian. I'm just as surprised as you are because honestly, I thought there was a lot more to this. She does not know every recipe in base game, but she got it, so it's fine. She's a natural cook, family oriented, loves the heat, a green thumb, and charismatic. She likes spice berry, spaghetti, and kids music. She's a Sagittarius. This is a little bit of our family tree. Not a whole bunch, but uh, it's only the first generation. Uh, she is currently level 8 in the culinary career, an executive chef. This job has the worst hours and the worst days that she works. And I just, I, I, before I move on to the next generation, I would really like to master this career. I have never done that before, so I would really, really love to, but I mean, look at her hours. She's going to go to work Friday, and then, of course, Snowflake Day falls on a day where she has to work. So she won't work then, then she'll work Sunday, won't work Monday, she'll work Tuesday, and she won't work till she's dead. She'll have the rest of her life off, that's at least what it feels like. These are her skills. She's got quite a few. Her inventory is a mess. These freezer bunnies are all over my Sims inventories because I hate. They just appear. I don't know what in my game makes them appear everywhere, but I hate them. I don't like them. I want them to go away. Um, and then, yeah, so she has a couple of lifetime rewards as well. And uh, that's Miss Justine. So let me show you guys her hubby McHubskin. Hubskin, that's a new one. Uh, this is Willard Anderson. I originally created Willard based off of a character in a book that I like to say I'm writing, but I'm not. Um, that it's a middle grade, so I did age him up and I did take some liberties, but he's basically a water element, so he has like that appearance of water in the book, but this is a Sims and I'm not gonna like go I can't go so far but yeah he's got blue eyes they both have beautiful blue eyes so their kids have beautiful blue eyes and I'm not one to complain so this is Willard as you can see his hair looks good in this game he has had curly hair his entire life but like as he gets older he just doesn't want to style it as much so it's kind of like flat and I like to say that it's flat because, you know, when he sleeps, it just, like, gets matted down. And he doesn't really go through the effort to, like, curl it back up when he's done. So it doesn't make the most sense, but he did have curly hair as a young as a young adult. So I like to keep the idea that he does still have curly hair. I'm trying to make this family more realistic. And when I show you guys the age spans for the family, then you'll see that I really am trying to make this more realistic, more in detail, and just trying to get more into it. So this is Willard. There's not a lot to him. He's he's Willard, and I love him. I love him. So that's him. Let me show you guys him a little bit more. Uh, he wants to actually reach level 10 in the law enforcement career track. I've never done that either. But um, uh, he's really close. He's level 9. He's so close and I also want to master this for him as well. I just think that that would be so fun. And with the lifespan on long, dude, freedom is unlimited in this game when you have a long, okay, also that is so pretty. It looks like a picture, does it not? But long lifespans, that's the way to play your game. Um, so he's a night owl, handy, a genius, family oriented dog person. These are not his, his traits. And his personality in the story I wrote, but I did change it to just be more interesting. Um, he turns into an elder in nine days. So he is 
very, very much older than Justine, and he'll be the first one to go probably, but uh, at least we've got his good genes in the family, if you know what I mean. He likes purple purple color, sushi food, and electronica music, and he's Leo. These are his skills, pretty good. Um, he is in the forensic branch, just in case you were curious. He's got some stuff as well. Lungs of steel. Oh. And um, I got this, but it doesn't matter because I can't have my Sims explore caves while they scuba dive because they just glitch right back over to the surface. And if any of you know how to fix that, please tell me because I want to scuba dive. This family loves the outdoors and scuba diving is outdoors and I can't explore it to the extent that I want to. So that is Willard. Now, let me move on to the children. So, I've always had the idea that they were going to have four kids. Before I even had them get married, I knew I wanted four kids, and I practically knew the story for every single child. They were going to have a set of twins. Fingers crossed that they would have a boy and a girl. They did. They were going to have a third kid, be it a girl or a boy. They were going to be best friends with a puppy that was born and born bred from Willard's dog that he brought into the family and the dog that they adopted. Um, they were going to have a puppy together and that puppy would be best friends with their third born. And then their fourth born would come way later in their life. It would be their surprise baby, but they were going to adore this child with all of their heart. And this kid would never leave home. He would be a gamer. It could have been a girl. The name was going to be the same no matter what gender because I've had these names in my mind a long time and I'm just glad that I didn't like n get the kid born and then like change the name because I do tend to do that so I'm glad I didn't but he was gonna be the heir into generation two but I'm tired of playing as much as it hurts to say I'm tired of playing with Justine and Willard I'm ready to move on and just expand and play with some different stuff because the family dynamics challenge looks pretty boring if you look in the farther generations it kind of just like looks the exact same every generation but you have a different career and I'm not that type of person you know so that's them let's move on to our first born he was indeed the first born out of the twins and uh this is him he takes after his father's appearance so much he's got the curly hair both of the kids have curly hair lena's hair is kind of like willard's like she doesn't really put much effort into styling it but when she turns into a young adult i kind of want her to have a lot curlier of hair because as a child and a toddler she had really curly hair so this is liam anderson our firstborn his birthday is in three days and i'm very excited for that he's a party animal a genius easily impressed and athletic he is a jock he's level six in there so he's a jockey jock um, he likes Violet, Lobster Thormador, and Soul Music. I, I like, like your soul, soul, baby. Ooh, it's gonna be great. He's gonna be great. He's an A student, of course he is. Um, he's a career. He works at a bookstore because we actually own the bookstore, so it just makes sense that he would work there. He wanted a P. T.J. a part-time job, and uh, he got one at his at the parents' bookstore. You know. And then he has an after school activity, but he's actually going to be attending the ceremony pretty soon. So that's exciting. These are his skills. He's got a lot for a teenager, um, but he's been a teenager for 20 days. 20. Let me just show you guys the lifespan my game set on. It used to be 106, and I have added... 54 days onto this my babies yeah the burrito babies sit in their crib for five days in this game am i a big fan of it no i'm always anxiously awaiting their birthday but it's more realistic except for the fact that i can't do anything but it's fine we move on we move on so yeah i have expect the elder stage is still really low you <laughs> but 
cannot live forever and it feels like they have i've been playing this game for 10 weeks and we're still on generation one so by this rate my game is going to be so slow by generation three um but yeah this is liam I love him. He's got himself a little girlfriend named Cassie Tally, who actually has um, a little bit of a family tree. I made this family just for this, and this is the base sim, a randomized sim when you load into Cass. And this is her older, and this is her younger. So I know what she's going to look like, but I'm still crossing my fingers she'll look cuter. Uh, and I'm hoping that Cassie will go with us to college. That's the plan no idea where she's going in life she's hot-headed an animal lover a slob and insane well at least she's in a band so i guess she'll go fine arts like i don't know what we're gonna do with her but that's his girlfriend they went to prom together i don't i think i don't really have a picture of them i don't think because they didn't go in together because the limo the limo wasn't working i don't remember I do not remember. So this is Littlest, Littlest? Mm, no, Little Miss Lena. And let me put her in her, oops, I always do that. Let me put her in her every day so you guys can kind of see who she really is. She is, this is her. She's so cute. She, her lips are a little bit, eh, but I'm excited to see her when she ages up because I definitely think she'll grow into her lips. I mean, she's a teenager. Teenager The Sims, they don't look the best. But this is Lena. She's the one who had super curly hair as a toddler, and I'm excited to give that back to her as a young adult. Um, I just think it'll sat it, like it'll look better on her um, when she's aged up. So she had to change her brother Noah guy's name uh his clothes because he was wearing something disgusting and she wants to collect 20 pets in the wild this i added because i was like well she wants to do this and i'm not going to play with her as my heir so i'll give it to her um and now she's going to be my heir and so i thought of maybe changing it to kind of fit the storyline i want to do and play with her but I've also never done this before, so I think it would kind of be really fun to just go out and collect pets and then bring them home. I just think that'd be fun, and I think that'd be something that, I mean, I've never done it before, so I thought, you know what, why the heck not? So that's her lifetime wish, and this is her, she loves the outdoors, animal lover, easily impressed, an angler, orange, fruit parfait and pot music is the way she lives her life, and she's a Gemini. They don't have, the, I always... I have to change that. Maybe when they're adults, I'll change that to uh, Liam's because he was the firstborn, so he gets to, he gets it. Yeah, three days for her too. Uh, a student. She already went to her um, ceremony, so she got a uh, sports club participation trophy and a shop club. And oopsies, these are her skills. She's very good. Very very good. And uh, she's got some things as well. A lot of lifetime rewards. Just, you really can do a lot. You can go far in this game when you have a lot. A lot. And then, where is their second, their third born? Where are you, Mar? So, this is Marley. And he is the third born. Uh, he has 12 days until he is a young adult. He likes spice berry, grilled salmon, classical music, Scorpio is his sign. He's artistic, a dog person, friendly, and lucky. So he was the third born, and he does fit the story of being best friends with a puppy that was born just two days before he was born. I wanted them to be born the same day, but dog pregnancies are a lot quicker than uh, sim pregnancies. At least it was in this game. So this is him. I use this hair on so many teens. I kind of hate it, but he had it as a kid and I just, whatever. So uh, this is him. Yeah, he's a dog. These are his skills. You can see I'm not as passionate about him. He is an A student, so like that's great. And the reason Marley and Liam have a part-time job but Lena doesn't is because they both got the opportunity to get a part-time job and then get a boost in their high school grade, so that's why. Um, but this is his best friend right here. I'll show you guys her in a second. Uh, so yeah, that's that's Marley. There's not a lot to him. Uh, and then this is the youngest 
by a lot, if you guys can't tell. Our middle child is halfway to adulthood, and our youngest is halfway into childhood. So there's a big, a bit of a big age gap. Um, but yeah, this is Noah Anderson. He's the youngest. Um, not a lot to him. A couch potato slob. Ages up in five days, you know. He likes color green, pumpkin pie, and soul music. <laughs> um, so let me show you guys the dogs. This happens all the time. They pee in the house even though they're potty trained. And they're not piggies. I don't understand it. This is our white German Shepherd based very heavily on Aquila from Leanne and Aquila. And his name is Jas, which is short for Jasper. Um, he has been alive for 76 days. I did not play his puppy stage. Um, thank goodness for that because my puppies are like eight or 10 days. I think it's eight. So uh, their puppy was very annoying. Um, but he is non-destructive, playful, genius, adventurous, and loyal. He's also a hunter. We used that hunter trait a lot less than I thought we would. Um, I mean, he's level 7, but I don't ever send him out to hunt unless I'm tired of him being in the house. And then he goes. So, you know. And then over here is his mate, Cal. Short for Callum. No, not based on any other dog, but this is a Dalmatian. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, then you don't know that I've become obsessed with Dalmatians. But not Dalmatians long coat Dalmatians. I love them. I really do. And uh, so yeah, this is Cal. I thought we would get one. She's playful, hyper, and she likes to swim, which are, those does tend to be traits for Dalmatians, but then she's got some other ones like non-destructive and aggressive. Kind of go against each other, but uh, uh, also adventurous. Ooh, dang, she's got some points. So yeah, that's her. She's uh, Jas's mate. And then we have their little pup over here who is half German Shepherd and half Dalmatian. This is little Minx. Um, this was this is Marley's best friend. I knew that Marley's best friend was going to be named Minx like I knew Liam and Lena were going to be the firstborn. So I've known for a while her name and... Uh, She's 18 days until she's an elder. Uh, Cal just became an elder, so she's been alive for 62 days. Quite a bit younger than Jas, but she's playful, hyper, non-destructive, genius, and adventurous. Dang, these dogs are adventurous. Then why don't you get out of my house more? Um, oh, yeah, they have a garage. There's a dog bed down here. And then this, if you guys play Sims 3 and you have pets, you need to get this, okay? Because when they get fleas, just send them down to this and it'll wash themselves and their fleas will be gone. And it's a lifesaver because um, with three dogs, if one of them gets fleas, it spreads like wildfire. The dogs get fleas and then the Sims get fleas and it can become a big mess. So I know it's fun to like have them do a flea bath and that's more realistic, but <laughs> I could get this. So yeah, that's that. And that's the family. Whew. You know, sometimes I wonder how people, like, do these entire, like, show the family in 10 minutes. And then they play for 10 minutes. I obviously could never. But, yeah, that is my family. I really enjoy playing with them. And I'm so excited for three sim days because Lena and Liam are going to be going off to university. Hopefully, because right now when I go into Edit Town and I go to the university world... A custom content world, um, Sim Metropolis, I think is what it's called, pops up, and I have uninstalled and deleted that file from my downloads folder, and uh, it still shows up. So that's interesting. I'm hoping that it'll change after I send them off to college, but I guess we'll just have to cross our fingers. But yeah, I'm super excited for them to go to college. I'm really excited to play with Alina because she is going to be my heir apparent now. Um, I'm going to play with her, have some fun. Uh, oh yeah, her bird. This is her bird. Leoli. Uh, she's an animal lover, and I just like the idea that she would have a pet bird. She was going to have a pet bird all of her toddlerhood and then our childhood. And yeah, <gasps> I missed a big factor of this family. They have a lake house. So yeah, there's this giant lake in here, and they actually own a little lake house. Right now, there's a fence in front of it 
because I couldn't lock the door and I'm trying to play this game realistically. So yeah, this is their little beach house. It's got three beds. They haven't been here since Noah was born. I mean, if you want to be realistic, we'll say they have, but in Sims game, they haven't. They come here every summer and we haven't had a summer since Noah was born. So yeah, this is their little, the kids' room. This is the master bedroom with a game of dominoes, the bathroom, uh, an annoying kitchen and then stuff like that their outdoor kitchen which i love they have a hot tub here if you ignore that ignore that they have a boat they have three jet skis they have this and every kid well liam lena and marley all have uh windsurfers so that's super fun as well so yeah they just have this little house they came here in this uh summer I got a mod to make sure they had summers off, and it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that. I've never done that before either. But anyway, thanks again for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up.